Hello and welcome to another episode of Pint Time with Backpacker Mike. I'm going to be trying this Upslope Brewing Company's Oatmeal Stout. They're out of Boulder, Colorado. This comes in at 5% on the Richter scale, so we're going to give this one a try. But first, let's get back to episode 219, Camping Around the World, right? I'm going to talk to you guys about two really cool places where you can go camp. One of them is right here in the United States, and most of you guys will know it if you're from the United States, and that is Denali National Park in Alaska. That's right, here you'll find some of the most beautiful scenery in all of the United States. Uh, there are mountains, wildlife, creeks, and a view of Denali, uh, which is actually the tallest peak in all of North America. Uh, there are several different campsites that you could choose from in the park, including backcountry grounds where you you know, get a backcountry permit, I believe you have to get while you're there. Uh, and then you can just go out into wherever you want to go. Uh, and it's an amazing, uh, beautiful place. Uh, the next one that I want to talk to you about is actually in Japan. It's in Miyajima, Miyajima, uh, Japan. It's uh, basically a small island that's just merely a boat ride from Hiroshima or Hiroshima, however you want to say it. Uh, you can rent cabins or tents uh, to camp among the camphor trees and cypress trees there. Uh, camping there, you'll see the impressive views of the forests and beaches. That's right. There's some beaches there. You can go swimming. Also, you can chill with the local island deer. They're so used to people, they'll come right up and eat right out of your hand. Uh, I believe the deer there are also sacred, so nobody uh, messes with them. So please don't mess with the deer if you go there. Uh, also, check out the amazing villages and the amazing temples along the way. Shinto is the religion there in Japan, uh, so make sure you read up a little bit on Shinto before you go so you respect the culture there. Uh, but yeah, amazing little villages and temples, get some amazing sushi, you know, food, things like that. All right, let's try this Upslope Brewing Company's Oatmeal Stout. Cheers, pro, slancha, and uh, skull for my Nordic friends. You know who you are. All right, so let me read this to you guys. Um, the ingredients are snow melt oats, snow melt oats, uh, root shoot English pale malt, which I have actually never heard of, East Kent Golding hops. I need to be more well versed on hops, uh, and dry English yeast. So I will say that this is a dry oatmeal stout. It comes across very dry on the palate. Uh, and you do get a bit of that hoppiness, but I feel like these East uh, Kent Golden Hops are pretty subtle. Uh, and it gives a really nice kind of flavor. Now, a lot of the oatmeal stouts I've had have had like a lot of body to it and um, depth, I should say. However, uh, this one doesn't. I think it's probably because the hops is in there and it's a bit dry. Uh, but it's a delicious uh, oatmeal stout. It really comes out really nice. I'm just going to cash the rest of this because I did this over on Instagram right before this. So I'm just going to cash the rest of it out. And you can see it's really dark, just like a stout. It's almost as dark as the copper tail uh, porter that I had. And again, on the hard pour, you do get a bit of the earthiness from the stout, the barley. And, and there is a, a small amount of creaminess there, but you just don't you don't get it on the palate. The hard pour is really good too. It almost brings out like some chocolatey flavoring notes, even though I don't believe there's chocolate in there at all. But it's a really nice, uh, I'd say, dry oatmeal stout. It's a really nice dry oatmeal stout. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go, uh, that's really good. I, I highly recommend someone trying to get this and trying it, especially if you like stouts. Uh, yeah, Upslope Brewing Company, Boulder, Colorado. I'm going to go eight and a half, eight and a half on uh, the oatmeal stout. Great job, guys. And as always, peace, love, and let's continue to experience this beautiful world together. And I'll see you guys next time on Pine Time after Facebook.